It's a strange substance found in the Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of other materials. It is the speeding bullet, and it powers the locomotive. Able to keep tall buildings from a single sway. That's right, lead is the stuff Superman can't see through, and radiation can't get through. Practically indestructible and remarkably recyclable. While you've probably never thought about it before, if it weren't for lead, your modern way of life would be very different. Believe it or not, the average American uses 11 pounds of lead each year. Because lead is a crucial component in a mind-boggling list of products and applications. So what makes this rock such an MVP? It has to do with its amazing array of properties. For example, this metal can protect itself. Lead has a lustrous silver blue appearance, but when it is exposed to moist air, it darkens and forms a defensive film of lead oxide to guard it from further oxidation. This resistance to corrosion makes it the perfect material for rechargeable batteries. Lead is what makes the world go. Nearly everything that moves gets its juice from a lead acid battery. Just think about it, your car, a farmer's tractor, even a ballistic missile submarine. And when we need emergency backup power, lead acid batteries provide that energy as well. In hospitals, air traffic control towers, even the signals at railroad crossings. Lead's got a lot of properties that make it easy for people to work with. Lead is soft and highly malleable. That means it's easy to shape because it won't crack or shatter. Why? Because lead has delocalized or uncontained electrons that allow lead atoms to easily slide past one another. Lead is the heaviest member of the carbon family. It has the highest atomic weight, meaning more neutrons and protons than any of the other non-radioactive elements. Lead atoms are huge compared to all other atoms, and therefore they absorb electromagnetic energy, like gamma rays or like X-rays. This helps lead be the best shield for all types of radiation. So now you know why a certain man of steel had those vision problems.